Welcome back folks and welcome to Let's Talk Ship. Today I'm just wondering what we gonna happen with Udaloy and with uh, Kiev in the near future. I'm talking about when the new uh, uh, Russian split will become. And the answer, this is my personal opinion, it's nothing that we are gonna know for sure. The least change it will be at this Kiev. Kiev, uh, it's a very good tier 7. Now, the biggest difference is that she might receive a little bit better guns like Udaloy and of course HP pool. Something also kind of uh, interesting, I don't think that those 4 kilometers torpedo will be any, I mean, look at those, those are the most stupid tier 7 uh, torpedo in the whole game four torpedo okay they are fast but no seriously i do believe the the range it should be close to udalois uh, which is eight kilometers and still have those 10 torpedoes at eight kilometers and of course hp pool they got uh, nerfed the hell of this um, uh, kiev in the couple patches ago and now kiev only has 12,800 which is kind of ridiculous low of course for tier 9 uh, this um, hp pool must be a whole lot higher now this is very little change and this is my personal opinion you see here on the consumable you have a uh, repair part then you have smoke and you have um, engine boost those three this is my personal opinion you still gonna have even in the near future but of course you will have much better uh, torpedoes range I'm not sure that you're gonna keep those 70 nuts torpedoes. I don't uh, believe that, but maybe around 60 nuts and do all eight kilometers. That's my personal opinion. So basically, it's not a huge difference between uh, Udaloy and um, and Kiev because you still have uh, two turrets in the front and one back and uh, speed. I don't know about speed. I do believe, here's my personal opinion, that you're still gonna have uh, those speed. And I'm talking about, oh man, where the hell are you, module? And the speed is, okay, module, over there he was. I think, do, I do believe that you're gonna keep, okay, I have a uh, speed flag, 44.6 knots. Uh, yeah, I do believe that you're gonna have uh, the speed as you have it today but the biggest different folks it will be Udaloy unfortunately Udaloy I do believe that she will get nerfed in and this is my personal opinion I don't know for a fact but this is what I will well guess the range won't be 12.1 you see uh, right now I have with the uh, modules and all that uh, fire range at 14.6 I think the Wargaming will nerf this around 10% and same thing goes with rate of fire. You see the spe big special about uh, those 130mm uh, uh, um, BLM and those new babies B2U are goddamn huge. This folks I'm talking about those are long barrels uh, high penetration AP guns which basically if you're let's say a uh, uh, US battleship or any kind of battleship you showing broadside Udaloy may not citadel but will pen and do a lot of damage thanks to those guns now Wargaming they, they said that they will change the consumable which basically this is my personal opinion the repair party i do believe this is gonna be left now please let me know do you think the wargaming will take uh, down uh, the new split line i'm talking about um groves no groves groves uh, the tier the new tier 10 the udaloy and um the tier 6 
I'm talking about Ognevoy. Ognevoy. Do you think that they will take one of those consumable away? Yes, I do believe. In matter of fact, I, I can go bold there and say that they may actually take the smoke down. D so, Udalo in the next patch or so won't have smoke or won't have speed boost. One of two 100% they will uh, take and replace with radar. Yes, folks, you heard me right. Those three ships will have radar and I'm almost, this is my personal opinion, I don't know for a fact, but they will receive uh, some other consumable they already said. I don't believe that the regular touch line, I mean the Kabarov's line, will have uh, this opportunity. I think the, like Kiev, they still have damage control party smoke and speed boost, but Udaloy and Ognevoy and the new tier 10 uh, Russian destroyer, I do believe that if they will take smoke away, it's gonna be tricky because sometimes smoke uh, save your ass. Now, if they still leave the smoke and put the radar R, well, folks, may I give you a pleasure to watch? This Udaloy will be the most overpowered destroyer in the whole game. Why? Because here's the deal, I don't believe that Wargaming will take away the torpedo. Matter of fact, this is my personal opinion, they will buff the torpedo uh, range, maybe to 10 kilometers, that's my person, and still keep over around 60 kilometers. But remember, the Udaloy, she's not a regular uh, destroyer, she is 15 torps uh, destroyer. Now, it will be uh, tricky situation because you may not survive s in some wave the cruiser may uh, may uh, nuke you if you don't have smoke so if the smoke is gone you can argue if this will be overpower or not but if you leave the smoke and take away speed boost and replace it with radar and you uh, buff the um, torpedoes range not uh, from 8 to 10 with still 60 knots, with 15 torps, and radar, and this, uh, maybe, okay, she will get nerfed, I'm talking about rate of fire, today's rate of fire, folks, I do reload every 4 seconds, and uh, range, it's 14.6, which is just amazing, one of the longest and the best, uh, guns in this game uh, because not even Kabarovsk has the same range as me as Udaloy I'm talking about uh, 14.6 now please let me know what you think about my theory it's only a theory but they said that they will uh, change this line more like uh, German lines so let's go for Z46. What does Z46? I'm talking about um, uh, fire range 11.2. Uh, 11 yeah, so the, the range is definitely there that we might uh, have uh, around close to 11 kilometers, uh, unfortunately, for uh, Udaloy. Um, but here's the deal, folks. This baby has 9.5 and 10 km, which this is what I'm thinking. The Udaloy's new torpedoes range will be 10 km, not 67 knots. I do believe they don't change the speed. It's still going to be, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm talking about uh, 60 knots speed. But Z46 uh, only have 8. 8 torpedoes. Udaloy have 15. The top speed of um, of uh, this uh, Z46 is 37.5. Udaloy has one of the fastest speed in the game. Only Kabarovs is faster. Of course, Kiev as well. Now, she has regular uh, Hydro. I don't know about the uh, uh, r uh, the radar, but you cannot compare a hydro with radar, because here's the deal: 
if you receive still the smoke, you can smoke yourself and put the hydro and you you spot every single destroyer within I don't know eight or nine kilometers away from you, which is just ridiculous. So if they take away the smoke, it could be a tricky situation because mm, and actually it could be done. They they might actually take away the smoke. But if they leave the smoke and just take away the speed boost, then this beast will become sliced to overpower. Because of the gun's rate of fire and very flat arc and a bunch of uh, torpedoes and she is kind of a maneuverable and, and once, uh, one thing uh, it's also you have to mention uh, uh, comparing with Kabarov's. You see the detection range? I don't have the... Um, the concealment expert, no concealment expert, you see, and I still have to 8 kilometers. So with concealment expert, that's around what, 7.2 or around a little bit 7, it's not good, but you have the speed, you will have the uh, better uh, torpedoes and radar and I do this is my personal opinion I do believe that they will do some big changes to this new uh, line but definitely they said definitely more play like a classic destroyer which basically uh, will do that eight kilometers from tier nine will not cut it they will buff the range I'm not 100% sure if they will buff uh, the uh, torpedo speed, but the range, yes. Please let me know what you think about my theory about the Udaloi. Would she be better or worse destroy in the near future? A hint. The Belarus um, wargaming will never make their own Russian destroyer worse than anyone else. So if you expect that the Russian destroyer will be the worst uh, of any other nation, I think you're wrong. Because here's the deal. If a manufacturer uh, wants to make um, their nation uh, uh, you know, worse of any other nation, uh, yeah, I think you 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 got wrong. I do believe they they try to balance, but at the same time to be the most popular or maybe maybe most overpower destroyer tier for tier. And uh, yes, please give me radar and uh, don't take away smoke, but uh, give me radar, please, and buff my um, torpedo range. And I will enjoy this Udaloi even more. And then, if you will have the red, you will become the most fearless um, destroyer in the game, even more than a Kabarovs. Because here's the deal: today, if they leave this uh, 12.1, but I do believe that they might nerf it only uh, one kilometers less. But it's still workable if you don't have 14. Point, uh, uh, 6 and you'll have 13.6 it still could work you know so it's not the end of the world but in that case I don't know if there's any other destroy in this game more fair as you as an enemy destroyer you if you you will f fear this new Udaloi like hell you will just want to run f uh, for your life if the enemy team has one Udaloi uh, ship because this will be a destroyer hunter and a destroyer killer you have the firepower and hell in the future you still have the um, torpedo range to use and uh, nuke or uh, yeah nuke your battleship as well so yeah this is my personal opinion please let me know what do you think about the new oncoming with a loin line. Thanks for watching. I wish you have a good one. Bye.